So as you may or may not be aware of, today there is a rail strike. So what would have been a one hour trip home on the train is now a four hour bus ride. So here's some footage of me leaving work, talking to myself like usual, headed down to the bus station. I want you to realize that the bus that Google told me to catch has to be booked beforehand. So the conversation between me and the bus driver went something like this. Hello, good afternoon. You can't get on this bus. Why not? This is a service bus, you need to have a ticket. Can I just buy a ticket now? No, you have to purchase the ticket online. Okay, so, so can I go online now and buy it? No, you can't. There aren't any more tickets. But the bus not even full. Sir, please get off the bus. So how am I supposed to get home? Not on this bus. <laughs> Fortunately for me, there was another bus that I could take that was leaving in about five minutes. Unfortunately, this bus was taking the scenic route. So an hour and a half later, I end up in Stratford-upon-Avon. My next bus wasn't due for another hour, so I decided to take a little walk around. I saw some sale signs in the distance, but when I got a bit closer, I realized that this store clearly isn't for me. Anyways, uh, fun fact, Shakespeare was actually born in Stratford-upon-Avon. So I set out on a journey to find his birthplace. Um, I originally thought it was in this dilapidated looking house but then I went a little further down the road and found the Shakespeare Center and I realized they have a delivery room so obviously it had to be in there. Unfortunately I couldn't enter the birthing chamber because my next bus was about to arrive. So the next stop is Solihull but first traffic. So an hour and a half later I got off in Solihull starting to get quite dark, a bit tired started to yawn as soon as I opened my mouth this woman starts coughing directly into my mouth it was about that time that I needed to fart so I figured since she could be out here spreading her germs it's only fair that I could release my germs too so I did and that put some space between me and her so yeah social distancing so the bus finally came and I got on the bus and clearly karma was out to bite me in the ass because everybody on the bus was coughing Seriously, why the hell are they coughing so much? People don't cough this much on the train. Luckily for them, I didn't have any more gas in the tank. So I spent most of that bus ride trying to exhale more than I was inhaling. But I'm pretty sure I caught some form of COVID on that bus. Anyhow, one hour later, I finally reached to Birmingham. I got back to my apartment building. Only four and a half hours since I left work, so it's not that bad, right? Wrong. So I guess the moral of this story is that if you're going to go on strike, give me the keys to the train so that I can get home.